施錠をしたとはいえこんな古い木の扉なんて簡単に破られるだろうな Sevens is back for 2021 and starting off with a strong episode directed by an old Yu-Gi-Oh! director and supervised by the series' character designers with action from one of Bridges' ace animators. So I anticipate this to be a very good episode to start off the year. As usual, starting off with the staff, we have Masahiro Takada with the storyboard Naoto Nishikawa as episode director, Kazuto Tadano, Hiromi Matsushita, and Yuki Morimoto as chief supervisors, along with Eri Ishikawa, Joji Yanase, and Yoshito Naito as the supervisors for this episode. For a while now, some old Yu Gi Oh! directors, storyboarders, and animators have been popping up on Sevens, and this episode is no different. Naoto Nishikawa is someone with a long standing history with Gallup, directing and storyboarding on Yu Gi Oh! since Duel Monsters up until 5Ds. He also directed and storyboarded the 5Ds OVA Evolving Duel Stardust vs. Red Daemon, as well as co storyboarding the Pyramid of Light movie. So, clearly, one of the more decorated Yu Gi Oh! directors on Sevens. Though this is his first time back on Yu-Gi-Oh! in almost 10 years. Given the more action-heavy episodes back on 5Ds, I do wish he was given a chance to also storyboard this episode as well, showing off his action storyboarding on top of his directing chops. While the comedy in this episode never fails to make me chuckle with the great voice acting, comedic timing, and funny expressions, there are certain aspects of the episode that I wish were better storyboarded, with a bit more effort. For instance, I do wish Takata had approached visualizing Django's ant metaphor a bit differently, like having the elite cavalry members tower over Django's group menacingly, as the way they chose to depict the elite members of the school as oppressive is a split screen with some ants in a tower. Honestly, that just comes off as a bit flimsy. It may sound like a nitpick, but little things like this do go a long way when telling a story. Dano's loose and cartoony corrections are as always a joy to see and further sell the comedic moments of the episode. But the big surprise in the chief supervisor role this week is the inclusion of Yuki Morimoto appearing only four episodes later since their last supervisor role. They're not typically someone who's terribly active on Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s, as I honestly expected to see them on the Shaman King anime next. But seeing them help out on this episode was a welcome surprise, honestly, as she's easily one of the more better supervisors on 7s, easily identifiable by their very moe corrections. Into the key animation side of things, we have once again Sevens' ace animator Shinya Yamamoto pretty much carrying all the action in the episode. His section should be everything from the beginning of Rook's turn up until the end of the first half of the episode, as well as some cuts in involving rebellions and Volcano Dragon Summon in the second half of the episode. Besides his distinctively snappy timing and effects, Yamamoto's shading and thick line works are very easy ways to identify his work. There are a few more non-Yamamoto animated cuts in the episode, for instance, United Resist Ants attack on Volcano Dragon. The fire effects here don't seem to belong to Yamamoto, or anyone else I'm familiar with on Sevens. So I am curious as to who was responsible for this cut. 
Overall, this was a good episode in terms of action and comedy. So I do hope that Nishikawa is given the chance to direct and storyboard an episode later on, assuming he stays on 7s after this. So with that, see you in the next video. Yeah, you got it.